So this is actually very easy to make. Gluten-free and vegan chocolate chip morsels. Have mercy, have mercy. to my channel. I'm your host, Daniel Ficare, founder and CEO of Ficare Fitness. You guys, I have a, I have a confession to tell you. Um, it's a truth moment right here. Although this is a healthy food eating vlog channel, I myself haven't been eating the way I should. I know, don't judge me, don't judge me, please. <laughs> have mercy, have mercy. Um, <laughs> reason being, you guys know that, you know, we had a baby, um, a baby boy, his name is Daniel. He's now, he's now over one years old. Can you guys believe how fast time is flying? Um, in having him, there were certain things that happened as far as during the birth where he has to, you know, have a lot of doctor's appointments or be seen like by a physical therapist. And a lot of our time is dedicated to him and making sure he's getting all of his medical needs. So I still haven't been able to really get back into my work life balance with everything going on. So my eating habits hasn't been the way it should be for my fitness journey, my fitness goals. Now, I'm not saying I'm out here eating pizza, breakfast, lunch, and dinner or anything like that. It's actually the quite opposite. I'm not eating enough calories. I'm not intaking enough of my protein. So for me, my goal was to try to put on a little bit of muscle for like the, the winter time until we get to the summer. And I, if not, I don't think I even maintain, I've been losing weight. So like I, I'm a little smaller than what I, I used to be. Not saying that I'm very small or I'm weak, <laughs> but I'm not where I, I, I could have been if I put in the work that I needed to. I haven't been eating my adequate amount of protein intake. Now, when it comes to protein, whenever you're building muscle, protein is very important to add into your diet. Making sure you're reaching your daily intake of that because uh, protein, it helps not only contribute with uh, strength, but it also helps with your muscle mass gains. So you should try to reach your protein intake throughout the day if you're trying to build up on muscles and making sure you're reaching your other macronutrients and micronutrients. But guys, don't worry. I've been motivated, I've been inspired, I'm back on track while well, I'm getting back on track. What actually inspired me, um, I don't know if I can say the person's name, but it's a famous basketball player. He plays for the Milwaukee Bucks, hint, hint. Um, his name starts with G and then ends with uh, the letter beginning with A. Uh, he's a really great basketball player and he has a documentary right now on Amazon Prime and I watched it. And when I say like his goal, his mindset inspired me to where I used to be. Cause he always talked, cause what he talked about was he grew up as far as outside of the America. He grew up first in Nigeria, then he grew up in Greek. And his family was one they had to hustle hard. His parents were working day and night just to make sure they were able to put food on the table. So he talked about his life experiences of seeing his parents like that and him wanting to make it big so that way he can help to retire his parents early and have them live a better life. That has truly been always a goal of mine was to make sure that not only am I able to live a, a, a great life, something where I feel comfortable, but I wanted to make sure that I'm able to provide for my family. Even when it came to the brand name, like Ficare Fitness, I wanted it to be something that like, you know, not only was I proud if I saw somebody out there wearing a the product or one of my shirts or anything like that, I wanted if my dad or if my mom to see it to feel like, you know, that swell of pride, like that is, that is us, we made it, we made it, like, you know, and that is something that a lot of people, I'm sure you as well have felt and you guys wanted to do the same for your family members. So I wear this because I'm not just trying to make sure that like, hey, you know what, I'm making it. I wanted to make sure that it's carrying the family name, the family legacy, so that way we're all making it if I make it. So that's the reason why, and I was like, man, his why, his push, his, his drive, it, it, it reignited me and re reignited that flame in me to go back and push harder. Like, I know that I have a lot of things going on, but I can't use that as an excuse, right? Like, you know, if I were to cut back on my phone time, if I were to cut back on TV, there are times, even when baby is sleeping, that I can really, if I want to reach this goal, I can put in the time, I can put in the work, I can put in the effort. i just been using that as my crutch. So I'm not saying the same with you, but for me personally, I know that I can do better, so I wanted to make sure 
that I'm gonna do something that's gonna be very easy to make where I can start increasing in my protein intake. This is something, again, that is simple. You guys can do this for breakfast. You guys can do this as a snack. These are chocolate chip and banana energy bites. You guys probably seen these before in commercials or they're out there in products as in grocery stores. They're like little energy balls that are packed with protein that you can eat on the go. So I wanted to make this because I know it's very simple and easy to make. You can actually make this with your kids, your family members and friends, and you guys can add other type of ingredients to make it however you like. But I just wanted to follow the basics and just show you how easy it is to make it. So that way, if you guys are having any trouble reaching your protein intake, you guys can use this as an option as well. So let's go ahead and look at the ingredients. The ingredients we'll be using will be organic old fashioned oats, organic milled flax seeds, organic crunchy peanut butter, premium pure US honey, golden bloom honey, gluten-free and vegan chocolate chip morsels, and organic bananas. Now if you search online, you can find multiple varieties on how to make these energy balls. But I wanted to focus on something that had high in protein like peanut butter, as well for the flax seeds. We're gonna go ahead and get started by mixing the ingredients together. Let's follow along. Our little bites are rolled up. I'm gonna leave it in the freezer for just 30 minutes, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, just to kind of let it get its shape. From there, I'll show you guys what it looks like. See you then. Woo, you guys, let's give this a try. But before you do, you know we gotta pray over it. Lord God, thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to make these wonderful energy bites that we can have for protein. To build those muscles that you have given us, Lord God, I just thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to make this. Thank you for providing the ingredients and the recipe, Lord God. Let it be of only nourishment and satisfaction to our bodies. Anything bad, please remove it. Anything good, help it to be plentiful, Lord God, and satisfactory. We pray for healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. And healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. We love you, praise you, glorify you, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. So let's go ahead and try this out, guys. All right, first off the bat, I think it's great when you use it in the freezer. When you put it in the freezer compared to the refrigerator, it actually makes it more solid compared to when you do it in the, uh, in the refrigerator. It makes it a little bit more sticky. So you don't want to kind of stick to your hands. You want it to be something very easy to eat. Let's take that first bite. Mm. Mm. Can you guys see that? Look. This is actually really good. Sorry, my mouth is sticking to itself. <laughs> the honey and the banana makes it a very good sticky substance. But you taste the oats, you taste of course the chocolate chips. I stuff chocolate chips in this one. So it tastes really good. You can still taste that banana, so if you're a banana lover, you're gonna love it like this. The honey gives it a great smooth sweet taste at the end. This is actually really good. Best thing about it, I'm getting my protein, guys. <laughs> You guys, I strongly, strongly suggest as far as making this, again, if you're trying to look for something very easy and healthy to eat, whether it's for you or for your family members, your little toddlers, this is a great healthy snack that they can enjoy. As well, you know, it's providing great benefits to their body. Now, it did come out to about roughly, I think like 16 to 18 little mini bites. I'm actually just gonna put the rest in a Ziploc bag and put it in a freezer. So that way I can just grab it throughout the week and have like a little snack full of protein to eat. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of this vlog, this channel with us. I appreciate you guys. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being a part of this with us and providing your feedback, your comments. I really appreciate you guys. Like, really from the bottom of my heart. You guys are amazing. As you know, we never like to close out without giving you an opportunity to know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus is a friend of mine and Steph, and we'd like to share him out there with you who may be watching. It's a simple prayer. You just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask you into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, 
Amen and amen. It's that simple, folks. If you pray that prayer with us, please join a Bible-based church where you'll be able to grow spiritually. And if you have any troubles finding one, please get in contact with either myself or Steph, and we'll be more than happy to help you along in that journey. Now, for my OGs, you know what's next. Newbies. Come on, say it along with us. We now got a shirt. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Please! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this shirt. So please, you know, share along, let other family members and friends know if they're looking for healthy recipes or ingredients. Tell them to come on and check out this channel. We love to share it with them and help them with their healthy eating journey. Warriors, thank you again for joining in. And until next time, folks, peace.